Hello everyone, it's a feel good legs class. It's gonna take us only 10 minutes and for today's class, we're gonna use a very simple kitchen towel and a broomstick, uh, but that's for, it for later, okay? So. It's important because our feet are holding us, are bearing the weight all day long. So when they uh, get tired, when they get tight, everything else in our body actually uh, feels tight. So let's build a solid foundation, strong feet for, uh, for everything else we do in life. So first things first, have the towel on the floor and stand with, uh, with your feet hip, uh, hip wide apart. Before we, move, we use a towel, I want you to just shift your torso on the toes and then on the heels, but keeping head, shoulders, hips, knees and feet alignment. So you're moving forward and backwards, just, uh, just as much as you can still keep this line as you move. You can feel the, the core engagement, right? Exhale, a few more times. Balancing on the feet. Back and forth. Last two. And one more time. And center, super. Now lift your big toes up. Try to press the little ones onto the floor and lift the big ones all the way up. And then press them down and lift the little ones up. And then again, press the little ones down and press the big toes up. It might feel very challenging. In fact, for me, it's very challenging. I have flat feet and um, my feet are usually not as flexible because of that. But if I work uh, often, on these simple movements, this will get better. So let's do this. Big toes up, and then big toes down, little ones up. And then again, small downs, big ones up, and then switch. Such a simple and small movement, but so challenging, right? And it feels like the whole your body is actually helping you to to do this work. One more time, big toes down, small ones up, and then opposite. Very good. Now, let's try to grab the towel with the, with the, the right foot. Grab it, lift it, drop it. Again, grab, so you flex your foot, you lift, you drop, and again, Grab, lift, drop, and again. We're going to do 10 reps, so that's four, five, six, seven, oh, grab it, eight. That's actually a very important scale when you're at home and your hands are busy. Nine, one more time and 10. Other side, other foot. Grab, lift, drop. Grab, lift, drop. Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, a few more, nine, one more time, and ten. Very good. Now move the towel away. We're going to move forward by um, flexing the foot. So you're like trying to grab the floor and make your, yourself forward. So you were not stepping 
we're just using our toes, our feet muscles to move us forward. So it's gonna be like teeny tiny steps. The only thing, try to avoid jumping, okay? So let's do a few. Exhaling. Exhaling. Exhale. 10, another five. One, two, three, four, and five. Amazing, walk back. Now flip your foot upside down and here a little bit, right and left. Opposite stretch. And just a little bit. And if the floor feels hard, you can of course do it even on the towel or the mat. Of course, this will feel much more comfortable. And then switch. Other foot. Uh -huh. A few more. Breathe in, breathe out. And center. Great. Now move the towel away. We don't need it. Uh, just for a second, I want you to feel the floor with your feet. You definitely feel now more grounded and more stable. So next thing, next thing, we're stepping back with the right foot. Lean forward just as much as you can. We want to feel the stretch in the ankle area and the calf. So go forward. And even if your knee goes beyond your toes, that's fine. Go forward and then back. Pressing the back heel down. Then again, forward, back, forward, back. Stretching here through the back side of the leg. And as we go forward in the front leg. A few more. Back and forth. Back and forth. Two more. One more time. Very good. Step in and step back with your left. Repeat here. Before you start, move as much as you can with the knee, keeping your front heel on the floor. And then press your back one. And then do this balancing movement. Every time, pushing that knee forward. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, two more times, nine, and ten. Amazing. Now we're going to make a step to the side with the right foot. Turn out the toes and keep the pelvis right up to the shoulders. And we're going down here just until you feel comfortable enough to stay. Now rotate your right hip and knee in and then rotate it out. Every single movement has to be done in your comfortable range of motion. Here when you rotate, one knee is staying stable, look into the side, the other one goes all the way in. And if you feel that you're losing the balance, we have a stick. In, out. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice and slow. Allow, allow your hip to try to do the max possible. Left and right. Change it. The torso is stable. A few more. One more time. And center. Come all the way up. Feet in puddle and wider if that's possible. We are going down to the left, moving the stick to the top, and then switching the side, going to the right. To the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, as low as you can. It might feel quite deep for the inner size, so you do you. Left and right. Mm -hmm. Last two times. 
and come all the way up. Have your feet closer and have your stick forward. Now we're gonna attempt to go deep into the squat using the stick. So have your feet shoulder wide apart, might be a little bit wider, this is up to you. And the way you open your feet, it also depends how comfortable you feel. So it might be a little bit more out with your feet or a little bit more in. Mm -hmm. You decide. Now very slowly, we're lowering down. Hips go a little bit back and down. And down. And if you don't feel confident with the stick, hold the chair or the table, anything that is stable. Come up. And again down. Slowly lowering. And up. And if you cannot go so deep, don't go. Just go as deep as you can. And up. And again, down. And up. Think of your knees. Draw them out. Open your hips. And then lower down your butt. Come on. Five to go. And up. One. And down, and up, two, up, three, up, four, one more time, five, and now let's stay down a little bit, stay down, hold the stick. Move right and left a little bit. From right and left, balancing on the feet. Try to relax the hips. This will help you go a little bit deeper into the squat. And if you feel like moving your feet, adjusting them, moving them closer, do this. Mm -hmm. And you can, you can even lower your butt uh, down here. A bit more. And then using the stick, come all the way and now shake your legs shake your body and we are done for today hope you enjoyed the short class leave me a feedback below and have a beautiful day everyone